John Locke, who was mentioned in the introductory film, wrote a book in 1690 that became the textbook for the mind for the next 200 years, called An Essay Concerning Human Understanding. Called, say that slowly. An Essay Concerning Human Understanding. Concerning Human Understanding. And in that book, he advances a theory of what a self is and what makes somebody the same self over time. And his answer, as it's most usually interpreted, is memory. Memory is what links us to our past. So as good students of philosophy, my collaborators and I assumed something like this was right. And we wondered, is this really how ordinary people think about identity? And we started to test it. We started to test it in various ways, but typically using questionnaires. We asked people about a bunch of traits. About? A bunch of traits. Your memories, your cognitive capacities, your personality, your vocations in life, your occupation, where you live. And you're not using the word identity as synonymous with self. We, the, our, our interest is in the question, what makes somebody the same self? What changes take place? All of us are changing all the time. Human beings are radically dynamic. We are the most uh, uh, capable of learning of any creature we know. And that means we're constantly just sitting here. Every time you hear a sentence, your brain has been rewired. Something is getting stored. A new trace is there. But you feel like you're the same person. So w part of understanding what the self is is understanding what remains constant such that you can say, I'm still me this morning. I'm still the same person I was this morning, even though I've been learning all day. So we wanted to know what, what matters there. And we wanted to know what are ordinary intuitions about this. So we asked, suppose you lose all of your memories, or consider a relative who is in advanced age and losing memories through, through uh, neural degeneration. Are they the same person? And for a question like that, the answer was usually, well, they've changed a little bit, but they're pretty much the same. And we asked about other capacities. What if their personality changes? What if their interests change? Pretty much the same. The one thing that really seemed to have the most dramatic impact on identity, according to our ordinary judgments, is morality, right. values. Right. If your values change, or if you imagine a, a relative who suddenly, who spent a life dedicated to left causes, to voting for Democrats, who suddenly become a right-wing Republican, <laughs> right, that's our, that's our response. Okay, this is a very uh, current <laughs> subject. 